Yeah, what's the biggest wipeout you've ever had? And we're giving away indoor surf lessons, so be sure to go to our Facebook page, click on the link to enter to win, and answer the question as well. Yeah, we're talking about surfing because mm -hmm. Casey is in Hawaii this morning. Oh, we're all jealous. And, uh, yeah, he's taking a job, and I feel sorry for you, taking a job in Hawaii. That's right. We're here at the Polynesian Cultural Center, and uh, it's going to be a little awkward this morning because there's a four-second delay. So for people back in TV land, what does that mean? Well, it means when these guys throw to me, there's about four seconds before I hear it. So it's kind of like when Ron tells a joke. <laughs> Then we laugh four seconds later because we finally get it, or somebody yeah. had to explain it to us. Right. But we're out here at the DCC and having a great time, and we spent throughout the morning <laughs> of what's going on. And I'm be honest, you know, because you don't want to fly with your valuables, so I feel a little naked because I, I, I didn't want to travel with, well, as you can see, what? the gold chain, I, because I wanted to keep it home and I wanted to keep Make it sure safe. You didn't lose I know, it, yeah. right? But I want to introduce you to this group, group of people behind me right there. And, Wait a minute. No, wait five Wes? seconds. Is that my boy Wes? <laughs> Wes from Hawaii? Oh my gosh, how are you, man? I know it's the necklace, man. That's a good look on you, bro. Oh, sweet, right? <laughs> family necklace? <laughs> yeah. Is she back home, family? Yeah, all right. Well, well, so what would you like to say to the Scots of Utah? Uh, I miss you. I love you. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, we wish you guys were here too. But if they were here, our liquor bill would be through the roof, right? Yeah. Woo! Wait, uh, hey, wait, 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 wait. PCC. Morning, we're at the PCC. <laughs> we're going to tell you what it's like. What? What? I don't think they oh, smoked no, alcohol that, there. It's politically correct, Casey. That's what the PCC stands for. The politically correct Casey. Right. And we're here at the PCC, which is the Polynesian Culture Center. And this is where you'd wait four seconds, then laugh. <laughs> we got the Maori people behind us from New Zealand, ready to rock and roll. What are you guys going to do for us this morning? One, two, three. Looking forward to this too, and uh, Casey having a great time. We've looked at all the pictures he sent back mm -hmm. on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's happening this morning, Casey? <laughs> You know what, right now we're going to take you to the islands of Tahiti, and today I'm continuing my quest as uh, 20 jobs in 20 days, and today I'm going to be a Polynesian Culture Center worker, and uh, we've got Lucky and Darian here, and I can tell you why they call you Lucky, because you get to get dance with Darian. That's pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. It's the best. All right, so now the Tahitians are known for their kind of their shaking and their dancing, so show me real quick how you do the shaking, Darian. All right, here we go. The guy and girls, right? Because the guys can do it as well. Yeah, we do a little something. Woo! Now, as you can see, the islands of Tahiti have a lot to offer. And if you come to the Polynesian Culture Center, you'll be able to go on the canoe tour, and that's where my first job begins. So we're here at the PCC, and I'm learning what it's like to be a PCC employee. And I'm here with my man, Mackie, and we're getting ready to go on the canoe guide, right? Yep. All right, so now what does the canoe guide consist of? Basically, you push the, the tourists up the lagoon, uh -huh. and you kind of tell them, like introduce them all the villages from different islands. Okay. So this is like for Samoa, you say, this is Samoa, and Samoa you greet each other by saying, Talofa. Talofa. And you do the same for the whole, and just give a little bit of background or the a history of it. How many islands in all? There's uh, six, six islands. Six islands, all right, and me and you are going to be pushing, and uh, how deep is the water? About three feet deep. So we're going to be okay? Sure. If Definitely. I fall, you'll save me? Uh, you'll just have to stand up. Okay, <laughs> good. Well, are you guys ready to get on? Yeah. All right, so we're ready to do this? All righty. All right. Um, Where's my stick? Go ahead. All right. All righty, family. Welcome on board. And aloha. Are usually two people or just one? Just one. Only if there's someone new. At what point are you going to tell me to duck? Probably right now. <laughs> just push hard and then go down. Let me just do this. All I got a bad hip. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, man, there's a bunch of breeze down there. <laughs> <laughs> that is the village of Samoa. 
In Samoa family, they greet each other by saying Talofa. Would you recommend me for this job? Definitely. If there's room for improvement, where would it be? Mm, pushing faster, I guess. What did you think about my uh, canoe, canoe pushing? Well, it could use a little work. I thought, you know, you could have pushed harder. It didn't look like you were really putting any work into it, and I probably couldn't recommend you for the job at this point. So if you were Donald Trump, I would be fired. <laughs> I didn't even know if I was up for the job, but it was a lot of fun, and you get to see all the islands. It's a great way to do it, and you cool down a little bit. But we're back here at the Polynesian Culture Center, and I've got Alex here, and he is the drum master, and we got the uh, the guys and the girls from Tahiti ready to dance for us. And so the beat really tells the story. Yeah, yeah, just like how musicians got to sing for them, the drum is, is music. All right, so we're going to send it back to you guys with a little dancing and singing, and then coming up, we're going to introduce you to somebody who's a legend here. His name is Cap, and I think Debbie and Brandon actually saw them on their anniversary. So take it away, Alex. <laughs> Got up early and for it. I want to be there. Casey I know you do. Casey left so nice. Behind. I know. It couldn't Can you fit in the that? suitcase. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. We'll be back after this. To be honest, I'm up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we're here in Hawaii. Wow. Still, Still don't, don't feel sorry for me. Yeah, no, no, at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know you don't feel sorry for me, but we're getting ready to take you to the islands of Tahiti, and we're going to talk about courtship. Now, back in the day, Ron, if you were to court your lovely wife, you'd probably show up at her father's house and bring a dowry. Debbie, if you were to court somebody, you'd probably show up with <laughs> a uh, note folded in five different angles and just say, Yeah. Yeah. But in Tahiti, they do a little courtship different. Alex, they do it with dancing, right? Oh, yeah, that's right, especially 2 o'clock in the morning. That's right. But that's Hey, my mom always said nothing good happens past midnight, but let's show everybody what's going to happen right now. What are we going to see? Uh, we're going to be seeing uh, the celebration Otea dance from the dancers here at the PCC. All right, take it away. All right. Stop real quick, real quick, because uh, we got to send it back to these guys. But I just want to try something. So everybody stand in a line mm. real quick, real, real quick here. Mm. That is Careful Tahiti. with your hips. And I just want to see if this is going to work. We haven't practiced. We don't know if it's going to work. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Open Gangman style. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they can do it. <laughs> All of these guys are professional. So once again, I'm beginning my job of 20 days to 20 jobs. We're at the Polynesian Cultural Center, and uh, I'm going to be here all morning long. We'll send it back to you guys. And don't forget to go to our Facebook page where you can enter to win indoor surf lessons. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, Casey. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Like a Polaroid picture. It's <laughs> nice to see the gong style is alive and well yeah. in Hawaii. They have yeah. their own little we'll twist be, to it, though. Right. We'll be right back. Temperatures. Maybe. Well... You never know. Oh, Hawaii Five O. Here we go. It got to be about 81. Oh. Hey, and we're getting ready to take you to the island of Samoa. And uh, right now, we want to talk real quick about the outfit because I'm wearing the traditional uh, outfit, right? Yes, yes you are. And, and what I like about it is, though, it's very favoring if you have love handles yeah, because yeah. it rides really high. Yes, exactly. And is there a lot of love handles in Samoa? Yes, we're just lovable people. Lovable people. I, I, I love that. And then yesterday I got a chance to apprentice under the lovable Cap. You know Cap? Yes, that's my uncle. Is he really? Yes. How come everyone I meet goes, oh, that's my uncle, that's my auntie, oh, he's my cousin? Everyone's Ohana here. Ohana means what? Family. All right, let's sort of this. Check it out. It's Cap. 
So here we are at the Polynesian Culture Center. I'm beginning my job as a Polynesian Culture Center worker, and I wanted to start at my favorite island, and that is Samoa. And a lot of people have seen this face before. He's been here for 25 years. He's the man, the myth, the legend. Men want to be him. Women adore him. It's Cap, right? Yes, sir. Yes. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm happy to have you here. You and, look and good in a skirt and that little... I don't little. think it's called a skirt. Really, I call it whatever I want. It's a skirt. With arms like that, you can call it whatever you want. But I wanted to start my day as being uh, a tour guide or a part of the Samoa Islands. So what do I need to know? Uh, tree climbing, uh, coconut husking, fire making, fire knife dancing, uh, anything. I think I'm going to do fire knife dancing tomorrow. So let's just start with the tree climbing. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I had uh, hip surgery, so my hips aren't that good. Do you use your hips to climb the tree? Everything. It's like a... You know, have you heard of the Tree 90X? Yeah. Yeah, that's the Tree 90X. Like, I've heard of P90X. Yeah, but that's, that doesn't matter. It's a Tree 90X. Tree 90X? It. It, yeah, the idea came from here. All right, so let me give it a shot here. Uh, hold this. Okay. How are you? Am I high? How'd that go? Uh, it's, uh, what'd you call it? That's why that is called a skirt. <laughs> 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 so, show me how it's done here. We've got Byron here, and Byron's going to show us how this works. And so, what are you wrapping around your feet? Just a cloth, like the one we wear. Really? Yeah. And it looks a little wet? Well, for, yeah. All right. Wet it for grip. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, let's see it. You twist them in the figure eight. Once or twice. Your feet go inside. So, it doesn't save your feet from the tree. Okay. It just keeps your feet together. All right, we'll see. It'll help you. Climb to the top. All right. Uh, What's he doing? Is is Batman? See what the horn is? The tattoo is. Big yeah. Buddha has the same, same thing. It's called the bell. So the is the Batman is going to fly up the tree. All right, here we go. Oh, the fastest climber here. Okay, fastest climber. Don't blink, you might miss it. See that? That's very easy. You can do that. No, I think I should move on to the coconut husking. Whoa! <laughs> That's exactly as a total gym, total workout, insanity, all that put together with being a uh, true 90X. <laughs> all right, well, um, we're going to let him come down. Coming back, we're going to try the coconut husking as I begin my day at a PCC, the Polynesian Culture Center, at a worker. We'll see you guys in one second. All right, so here we are back here at the Polynesian Cultural Center, and we've got the land of Samoa in front of us, or the island of Samoa, and we're going to end with a little dancing. But before we send it back to you guys, coming up next, we I go to Tonga, where I try my drumming. So take it away with this. Hit it. Nice. Uh, oh, that is so awesome. That is incredible. Yeah. And yeah, they're up at 2 o'clock in the morning doing that. <laughs> I so know. We, exactly. We appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, you can't well, tell Casey me. is in Hawaii this morning. Uh, what have you got for us now? Well, you know what? Right now it's 3.15 here. It's 7.15 there. And we're going to introduce you to a Hawaiian breakfast snack in just a minute. And this is Nutty. And what is this? This is called Spamusubi. All right, and so we're going to find out what that is in just a second. But before that, we're going to go to my man Dallin here, and we've got Alex here, and we're going to go to the island of Tonga where they're known for their drumming. But everywhere you go around here, everyone's an auntie, an uncle, or a cousin. Do you have any auntie, uncles, or cousin back in Utah? Of course. My, Who do you got? My mom and dad. Dad, happy birthday. Oh. This is my dad's birthday. Oh. And where does he live? In Utah, in Bountiful. Utah. Bountiful! All right. And my oh, sister hey. and the Brown family and the Alapa family, my other sister. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, oh, well hey, we're going to do some drumming real quick, but I'm going to tell you how my time went in Tonga. Okay. Okay. Ave, ave. What are you going to say?
like a movie, movie, huh? I like that one, but remember, this is my show, okay? <laughs> So it is true. Everyone around here is related. They're aunties, they're uncles, they're family. All right, so we're going to kill the music real quick. And we're going to come back to Aisha. And uh, this is the breakfast of choice here. Yes. What is this? This is called Spam Musubi. Uh, and Musubi is? It is a Hawaiian dish. It is made of Spam rice. And it's wrapped in seaweed, also known or what we call furukake or nori. Furukake or nori? Nori. Nori. Nori to you, nori to me. Okay, <laughs> and uh, we're both naughty? Just you. I'm okay. a good girl. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you can pick this up, as if you can see right there, right at the 7-Eleven. Yes, 7-Eleven. <laughs> Only awesome. in Hawaii. All right, so let's give it a try here. You hold the mic. Better than a Slurpee. And, uh, it's like Spam Sushi. Can you yeah. get Spam, spam on your hamburgers at McDonald's? Oh, uh, you could get it in your breakfast plate. Okay. Mm. And so that's it right there, huh? Yeah. That looks good. Take uh, a bite. <laughs> With spam instead of. All right. Come on, Yum. How do you feel? Naughty. Naughty. I keep turning brown. Right? Yeah. I've got rhythm now. Go ahead. have some breakfast there yeah. too. Seriously. Yeah, feed the cameraman. All right, that is a good time. I want to go to Hawaii now. I know, we all do. Yeah. <laughs> still a couple of tunes this morning, and uh, we're having a great time with Casey in Hawaii. Of course, we would love to be there, but the next best thing <laughs> is just watching yeah, Casey I know, there. Yeah, so fun. That's right, we're live at the Polynesian Cultural Center, and hold on, because we're on air, i got to suck in. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that feeling. <laughs> okay, so we're here, and we're finding out what it's like to be Samoa, and I'm here with Alex, and before we get to the dancing and the courtship dance, I want to ask you a very serious question. In the island of Samoa, right? Right. Do you guys have the Girl Scout Samoan cookie? No. <laughs> Where does the cookie come from? Uh, Sesame Street. Cookie Sesame Monster. Street, the Cookie Monster, or the Girl Scout. Well, right now we're going to see some yeah. dancing, and uh, this is the courtship. A lot of courtships begins with dancing, right? Yep, there you go. All right, so let's get started. All right. So tell me what's happening right here. This here is uh, talking about the men of Samoa, telling the women to check them out. Watch them as they dance hard. So basically these guys are peacock and they're like, hey ladies, check me out, look Eagle, what I do. Yeah, dancing up high, jumping out low, checking out the, the glistening of their body, you know, as they're sweating, dancing real hard and they're kind of playing hard to get, saying like, nah, the nah. The girls nah. are playing hard to get. Yeah, yeah. In my life, I've always played hard to want. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're going to be dancing back and forth and this is something you can see if you come out here to the Polynesian Cultural Center uh, yeah. as I am doing 20 jobs in 20 days is this is just one of them coming up we're going to go back to the island of Samoa and we're going to talk with Cap and we're going to find about uh, husky and a coconut you ever done that before? oh uh, yeah. yeah we're going to see how it goes we'll oh, send it great. back to you guys see you in a bit yeah. lay it out Tough job. All right, Casey. Good, good times there. So to Hawaii with Casey for a remarkable time. That's right. Once again, we're hanging out at the Polynesian Cultural Center, who is celebrating 50 years this September. They've got a big celebration. We're going to find out more about that tomorrow as we do a little fire knife dancing as well. But right now, we want to congratulate Amy Wheeler. Amy Wheeler, you are the proud owner of some indoor surf lessons at the Flow Rider up in Ogden. Uh, congratulations. And uh, we're going to go back to my job as a Polynesian Cultural Center worker. And this is my time hanging out with the legendary Cap and a little coconut husking. Here in Samoa at the Polynesian Cultural Center and I've got Cap here and we just found out I'm probably not going to be a tree climber but maybe I'm a coconut husker. Maybe, we'll, we'll find out, you know. I mean, there's a sharp stick there. You know, you want to make sure you got your, your fingers together after the whole thing, you know. Okay, so are you just going to smash that on that? Not really smash, but the uh, coconut has a uh, unique form like a heart so the coconut sits in here, so you kind of husk it from the top there. Okay. Okay, so uh, the first thing you do is this. 
And then just twist it off. Twist it off. Yeah. You used to stick there. What is it? Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. Yeah, try it. So you're just going to push it down right here? Watch your fingers. Yeah. Push it right in there. Push it in. Push it in. Push it in. Push it in straight first. And push it down to your right. Right, right there. Next one. Oh. Fumble. Recover. Fumble. Fumble. Got it back. And then just one more. Yeah. Two more. Divide it in half. Usually it's a three second thing. <laughs> we'll do it all day. I mean, two, uh, two okay. minutes. Okay. You got, you got the flow? Huh? Come on, come on. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Use the stick. Use the stick, use the stick. Use the stick. <laughs> okay, you do it. Let me show you, because you got this easy. Uh, all right, now you're just showing off. There's no something in your teeth. <laughs> no, there's nothing in your teeth. <laughs> so here it is. Okay, here's the coconut. You know, we're going to touch it off and we're going to crack it. Okay. How do we crack it? Uh, the, the coconut has a face. Uh -huh. It will really help you crack it. So there's a face here. The two eyes, there's a line right here. You can use a knife if you want to. If you use a knife, you probably use not that. Use the side of the back. Uh, if you use this, the Bad things can happen. ability will go right through and you're going to look like this. <laughs> Is that where this comes from? No, this is where this comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I need it right. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back more before the metal came. Okay. Here's a rock. Okay. And you just tap the top of it. Simple as that. So, uh, cheers, cheers. Cheers. To those in the snow in Utah, we miss you too. <laughs> there you go, as you can see, just a day in the life of a Polynesian mm -hmm. Cultural Center worker. Uh, tomorrow, join us as we talk more about the 50th anniversary that's coming up here in September. We're also going to do a little fire knife dancing, and tonight I try my hand at fire knife dancing in front of a live audience. But we're going to send it back to you guys, leaving you with the sweet sounds of Tonga. Take it away, live in PCC. Tricks so he can uh, get a job there. Yeah, making a call. Oh, oh, yeah, great. Doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Well, the two.